Hi there, it's Gabby with Radiant Art Inspirations. If you're new here, this channel is all about easy, fun, fast face paint tutorials every single week. Today, we're actually gonna do a two in one. We are gonna do a review on a brand new product that just came on the market called Color Masters, along with creating a really fun floral festival face paint design that is ideal for teenagers and adults kind of ranging in their 20s. It's more specific for those festival events more than a birthday party. Let's get started. This palette by Color Masters being absolutely brand new, I am shocked by how amazing it is. So looking just at the box, right? We're just being visuals here. It looks really slick. It looks, it looks nice and kind of expensive. But is it? Nah. This one in particular is the Bright Colors palette. It's about $30. No, it's $28.99 on Amazon. So it comes in 12 colors and all these colors you can use to nail almost any request that is asked for by a child or even by an adult. Let's take a look at the palette once we take out the box. It's surrounded by a pretty high quality plastic. It feels heavy duty and it's also pretty slim. Also about this palette that I haven't seen in other ones is that it comes with two brushes and I feel like it's a bonus. Be like, hey, you bought our, you bought our palette, get a bonus brush, sis, brushes. So the first brush it comes with is a number three round brush. Of course, it's essential for maybe thicker outlining, teardrops, swirls, and any kind of detailed work. And it also comes with a number two flat brush to do more, you know, wider work and larger details. And of course it looks nice, but the real question is, how is their pigment? Is it good? Is it is it worth buying? Well, I'm gonna show you how well these pigments are. Stay tuned. These pods are detachable and they also come with a cute little lid. Now we're gonna test their brush and their paints. So their black is absolutely solid. And this light green is becoming my new favorite. Also, with the yellow, it's actually more pigmented than Fusion, which I found really shocking. The reason why I say this is because yellow is a hard color to come by as well. And their orange is also more pigmented. And the white? Dang, it's bomb. There you go. Easy, fun, fast review. Overall, I am really pleased with this palette. It is really perfect for beginners, but also professionals. Did I say it's on Amazon Prime? I think that is so important because let's say you're having a last minute gig or you need a palette or you need a color or you forgot someone's birthday. It's Amazon Prime, it comes in two days. I mean, not only do you get a really good palette with great pigment and two bonus brushes, I mean, two day shipping? Dang, that's a deal. Now, with this palette, we are gonna create our fun floral face paint design. First, with a sponge, load with yellow to create the semicircle for the flower and add yellow glitter. Then, with another sponge, load with pink to create the eyeshadow. If you like, you can also add pink glitter to the eyeshadow. Next, for the petals, first create a small dot at the center of the forehead to know where to place the middle petal. Then, with a number four brush, create about five to seven petals on top of the forehead. After, with the finger dabber or brush with yellow, create a circle at the corner of each eye and add yellow glitter. And with a number four brush, do as many teardrops to create the petals, getting smaller as you get closer to the eyes. Do the same on both sides. Now 
Then with a number two brush, load with white to draw two swirls and one teardrop in between. Try your best to get it symmetrical on both sides. And with the same brush, add dots on the outside of all of your swirls. If you like, you can also add teardrops at the bottom of the eye with a number two brush. It can be a little harder because it cracks when you get closer to the eye, so make sure to do it accordingly. This was filmed at one in the morning. My eyes look so red. I need coffee. Nom, 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 nom. Now it's time for shading. With a number one brush, lightly load with brown. Draw one line inside of each petal and then use your finger or a dry brush to feather it out, creating a shadow look. And lightly outline the center of the flower. Next, with the number two brush, load with white to add three dots at the bottom of your eye teardrops. With a number one brush, load with brown to outline the center for the flowers near the eyes along with adding a little depth in between each petal. This is, I think, a really important detail. It's gems and glitter time. Use cosmetic glue to apply your gem centerpiece. And we're here we're using festival glitter to apply around the design. Do it on the forehead and below the flowers as well. Lastly, we're adding sticker rhinestones inside of each swirl along with at the bottom of both eyes. This is an extra detail that you don't have to do, but it's something that really adds to your design. Yay, you're all done. Give yourself and this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to learn easy, fun, fast face paint tutorials every single week. If you like these videos on doing reviews on products, let us know by hitting the like button or even creating a comment. It really helps to let us know if you like this sort of content so we know either to make these videos more or to not make them at all. See you guys next week. Bye bye.